Hey guys, welcome back to my brand new video. In this video, I'm gonna be teaching you all about physics class 10 ICSC chapter 12. So, I have found out the PDF of this chapter. So, we're gonna start with the topic. So, guys, uh, first thing first. We're gonna see these things okay the atomic number so the atomic number of an atom is equal to the number of protons in the nucleus okay so the number of electrons which is same as the number of electrons in the neutral atom. So atomic number is Z. Okay, and mass number is A. This is known as electron. I'll write in short form this is known as electron and this is known as proton right and to find the number of neutrons okay to find the number of neutrons we have to find a minus z a minus z gives you the number of neutrons okay now we're gonna go down and uh, there are some of the charges written here the symbol charge and mass so electron symbol is E proton symbol is P neutron symbol is N everyone knows that and the charged charge of electron is minus 1.6 into 10 to the power 9 minus 19 C this is important proton it can be asked it's rare but yeah it's good to remember uh, neutron it's zero and uh, mass there is chances of being asked and this is the charge uh, mass of uh, proton and this is the mass of neutron and uh, yes here we have the number of neutrons elect electrons is z number of protons is z number of neutrons is a minus z okay now we're gonna erase this no, go down now here there is nothing much important on top here we have isotopes that is important take a highlighter and highlight these atoms of the same element so isotopes are atoms of the same element having same atomic number z but different mass number that is a remember same electron same Z means atomic number and different A means different mass number then these in this case these are called isotopes okay so next you have to remember these examples they can be asked for the 2024 examination it was asked so then uh, we have isobars you gotta remember what is isobars right so isobars are the atoms of different elements which have the same mass number but different atomic number 
remember atoms of different elements same a different z okay same a different z these are called the iso bars then we have isotones and again uh, the examples below are important then we have isotones the atoms having different number of protons same number of neutrons that is different z and a same a minus z called isotones they have different number of electrons as to be known here as we learnt in the second page right in the second page we have this as ah uh, here number of electrons is z number of protons is z number of neutrons is a minus z okay um yeah here so we're going to erase this first okay so number of electrons and protons are z number of neutrons is a minus z right and this is z not two cool okay so atoms having different number of protons okay different z okay and same number of neutrons same number of a minus z but uh same a minus z okay so basically they are telling that a is different and z is different a is different and z is different okay but a minus z is same okay so they have different number of electrons again electrons is z again okay now this is very important on page number 281 i uh, i think the page number differs but yeah according to this page it's 281 and uh, you got to remember these radiations these radiations are found to be three types positively charged negatively charged and uncharged which are named as alpha beta and gamma you have to remember this and the definition of the radioactivity can be asked in any board exam any year so that is important the substance which disintegrate or decay by the spontaneous emissions of radiations are called radioactive substances example uranium radium polonium polonium and etc then we have uh, we got erase so this is important then uh, there is uh, one more you can say uh, definition of radioactivity that is radioactivity is a nuclear phenomenon okay it is a nuclear phenomenon it is the process of spontaneous emission it is a process of spontaneous emission of alpha beta gamma radiations from the nucleus of atoms during their decay it's kind of a simple one compared to that so you can remember this too or if you want that you can remember that also so the 